Okay, this is my bowl drying area. Um, I turned thin to final thickness. Um, put the plastic wrap around the rim. That helps it to dry without cracking so much. When I start them off, I'll start them off down on the concrete floor at first. The uh, idea there is humidity is a little bit higher, it's a little bit cooler down on the floor. After they've been on the floor for three or four days, if I remember, I'll put them up on the shelves after that. The wire racks allow the air to circulate so they dry fairly evenly, and these bowls turned at about one quarter to three eighths of an inch thick are dry in about 10 days, 14 days max, and that's even in our rainy winter time. The general rule of thumb for drying, if you're drying them too fast, they're going to crack and split. And if you're drying them too slow, they're going to mold. But that is not always a bad thing because it can add some nice color to them. Essentially, the easiest way to turn bowls is to turn it from wet stock. And you have your choice of twice turning, which you let it dry and then turn it again, or turn thin to finish thickness the way I do. You want to prevent it from cracking. There are two different soaking methods which come up frequently. One of them is DNA, which stands for denatured alcohol, and the other one is LDD, which stands for liquid dishwashing detergent. I tried the DNA methods. Um, idea basically get a vat, drop your bowls in it for 24 hours or so, pull them out, you wrap them, covering the outside, leaving the inside open. Um, with my thin turn bowls, I did several hundred of them with the DNA um, didn't seem to make any difference at all. It did seem to make them a little tougher to sand out. Since I don't do the twice turn bowls, I don't really know how effective that soaking method is. A lot of people swear by it. Some people swear that it doesn't work at all. I don't really know. What I do is I prefer the liquid dishwashing detergent method. This was developed by Ron Kent over in Hawaii, uh, specifically to deal with a Norfolk Island pine. Your pines tend to be very resinous, they are very difficult to sand out. Uh, method is buy cheap brown liquid dishwashing detergent. Again, get a big vat to soak your bowls in. Mix about half water, half detergent. Again, the bowls go in soak 24 hours minimum. Um, pull them out, I rinse them off. Uh, sometimes just take them outside, rinse them off in the gravel or in the kitchen in the winter when it's cold out. Let them dry a little bit, then I wrap the rims main thing that does makes it a lot easier to sand out, especially with your more difficult woods that want to burn, um, crack, or check. I don't know that it really affects drying times. I don't know that it makes any difference on how much it warps. It does make it easier to sand out. And the wrapping method of wrapping the outside of the bowl and leaving the inside open was developed by the DNA soakers. And the theory is that the inside will dry first and the outside is going to dry more slowly and basically that puts the thing into kind of a compression mode so it's not going to crack as much and that seems to be somewhat valid because your rims are always the most vulnerable point uh, basically your wall thickness changes right at the rim and if you leave a sharp edge that is going to want to crack and split more easily I was doing it with a newspaper for a while and started attaching it rather than the tape using this stretch plastic film. And that alone has seemed to have done more for preventing cracking than anything else I've ever tried and I've been sticking with that. I did do a measured test where I turned three sets of bowls, one DNA soaked, one LDD soaked. Uh, one just air dried, absolutely no difference in drying times, but again, that's my thin turn bowls, and with the thicker turn bowls, it does seem to make a difference.